And uh, look at that, it dies in an instant. Let's take it apart. This one was taken apart before. And by this point, every PlayStation 4 has been taken apart. Yep, usually dust levels like this lead to APU problems. Oh my lord, that's why it doesn't power on. This shit. It's all bent up. All right, we put the uh, power supply back in properly here. Now let's see what's really wrong with it. Okay. The tester says all right. We do have the white light, but unfortunately we have nothing here on the screen. So we gotta take out the motherboard and uh, try to repair this. And yeah, look at that. Much better. It looks like somebody tried to uh, repair this uh, HDMI port here. So let's check it out under the microscope. Here it is under the microscope. We can automatically see that it was been touched before. And if we uh, try to move the uh, pins around, and, oh, they're all they're all not even attached. And uh, you see the reason why? If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll understand that these legs are very, very important here. You have to have these legs puddly so that this port is stable and uh, the soldering job is really mediocre as well. So uh, let's remove this port and uh, put a new one on. Okay, we removed the uh, port and we cleaned here. And we just uh, finished placing that HDMI port here. No legs yet, but look at these uh, pins here. They're looking amazing. If we uh, take the tweezers here and try to test. Everything here is absolutely perfect. Um, this is 100%. All we need to do now is uh, add these legs right there. Let's do it. All right, we got the legs on. You see that? They need to be probably like that if you watch the beginning of the video. This is the main problem, and then this needs to be 100%. Now let's put it back together and test. All right, we have it back together here. Let's test. Turns on, still good. Tester says okay, and we have here video. Perfect. And we tested the drive here, and uh, yes.